Hey, what's up? In today's video, I wanna give you a quick rundown on how you can start leveraging the new FlexiTabs module in Clean Pro. This module is in beta, however, I am super excited about it because it's gonna open up so many more possibilities when you want to create a tabbed UI structure on any given page. And what makes it so cool is it can actually work in conjunction with all the other clean modules. So let me go ahead and show you how you can start utilizing it today. Let's pop straight into the HubSpot CMS, and we're gonna come over here and we're going to just go ahead and drag the Flexi tabs module straight into the page. Now, as you can see here, we have some default tabs that are gonna open up. So let's just go ahead and click one of these. Of course, you can give it an, uh, a label, anything that you want. So we can say tab one. And then the important thing here is you need to give the tab a unique ID that is specific or unique to the entire page. So and that's a really important point here. So in this case, let's just go ahead and do tab dash one. There can't be any spaces, all lowercase. Just keep it as simple as possible. The next point is you want to set one of the tabs active, only one. Um, as you'll see, as we go to the next tab, uh, you have that option as well. Just make sure that only one is set to the active state. This is what's going to display by default. So we're gonna do tab two. We'll do this same thing, tab two. And then we're gonna repeat this process right here, tab three. Let's just go ahead and quickly apply changes so we can see that take shape. Okay, awesome. The next cool thing is you can come under the styles tab right here and you can select which tab style do you want. I've given you three out of the box. So what we're looking at here is the simple underline. Um, you can do straight up tab looking tabs. That would look something like this, or you can even do button style tabs that would look something like this. And you'll have complete control over those button styles um, right down here. So let's just go ahead and plop this right back to the underline. We're gonna go ahead and use that as our example. And now what we want to start doing is starting to actually add other modules to the page that we can control with the Flexi tab. So let's just go ahead and let's just look under, let's just grab a magic module. You know I love the magic module. And we're gonna drop it right below. Obviously we want the tabs to control everything lower. And just to show you how cool this is, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna grab one more module. And this one, what else do we wanna grab here that's quick? Let's try like the card flippers. Can I actually grab that and paste that in? Card flippers, where are we? Cool, I'll grab that and drag that right in here as well. So let's just say these modules are all set for tab number one. What we wanna do with the magic module is we want to come in and we actually want to give this some specific classes. And this is where you need to, well, make sure you pay attention because this is how it all works. So first we need to assign this module to tab number one. So what we want to do is we want to reference that tab ID. So we do tab one. The next important point that we're going to add to all of the modules for all the tabs is a class called tab content. And the next class we're going to do space. Since this is the active tab, we're going to put active. So let's go ahead and apply those changes. And then what we want to do is repeat the same process for the other module on the page that we still want to have under tab one. So all I would do is grab that, copy it, and now I'm going to jump down to this module right here. In this particular module, the code and CSS is actually under row settings. So I'm going to go right under here and I'm going to paste that. So now we have our tab that is you know, active for tab one. One tip that I would highly recommend that you do just to make your life a little bit easier in terms of organizing what's here is I would come into each of the modules for the various tabs and rename them. So in this case, I would probably do something like tab one. You wanna get crazy, you can do something like active 
just so that it's extra clear which of the modules are which and for which tab. So I'll do that one, and then I'm gonna come in here and do this one as well. So save that. Okay, cool. So now we have this going. So let's go ahead and create tab number two. So what I'm gonna do is right below here, let's go ahead and pop back over to our ads. And this time, let's add some flexi cards. Oops, I gotta apply these changes before I do that. Okay, so we have some flexi cards right here. Just to speed this tutorial up, I'm not gonna add a bunch. I'm just gonna walk you through all three of these tabs. So in this case, what I would do is I would come under the row settings, code, the nerdy stuff. And again, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reference that tab ID. In this case, it was tab dash two. And I still want to utilize the tab content class. Now this one's not gonna be active, so we're not going to utilize that class. And I'll just go ahead and plop that right there. Now, obviously you're gonna see that disappear because it is not active and that's a good sign. So again, what we wanna do is we wanna come over to the contents tab. We wanna rename this and we're gonna say tab three and save that. Okay, let's add our third tab to round this off and then I will, we can go from there. I'm just gonna go ahead and use the team, gosh, this always happens, the team profile cards for this one and then we can see how it all works together. So let's grab that. Come over here, we'll just drag and drop this one into place and then go through this very same process, right? There's the code, the nerdy stuff. This one's tab dash three and then tab content. For good measure, we wanna make sure we pop right on over here and we are going to rename this module and we're gonna call it tab tab three, and we're gonna save that. Now you're gonna notice this is in its own section. That's not um, probably the hugest deal, but honestly, what I would highly recommend is, well, now I can't see it and that's great. So what I would highly recommend is having this all in its own section. So let's just go ahead and quickly open this up so that we can actually access team profile cards. And then just so that we can move it, Again, let's just cut this out, apply these changes. That'll make the module appear here in the CMS. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab this and I'm just gonna move it. Let's see if I can just place it right above there. Now it's all in its own section. That's what we want. So let's go ahead and pop that CSS right back here. Oops, am I on the team cards? Nope, I'm not. There's, I'm, I'm going too fast, I'm going too fast. I'm trying to make this as concise as possible for you. There is our tab three and tab content. It's gonna disappear once I go ahead and apply these changes. And now what we can do is we can just go ahead and preview this in a new tab. And we can actually see how this works. Tab two, tab three, tab one. And there you go. You can see how, while I'm doing this very quickly with just some you know, modules here on the page, how this can become actually really powerful so that you can utilize different modules within Clean to have as the content under each tab. If you have any questions, if you have any feedback, I'm all ears, please feel free to reach out. Um, this is in beta version, although it's Pretty cool, but if you have any requests or things that you think it would make it even more awesome, I would love to hear them. With that, I'm out. Um, enjoy.